In this example, we are told that Tommy is tiling a wall. He's going to use light and dark blue tiles in the ratio 1 to 15. Question 1 asks us, what fraction of the tiles will be light blue? The ratio tells us that for every one light tile he uses, he's going to use 15 dark tiles. In other words, out of every 16 tiles he uses, one of them is going to be light blue and 15 of them are going to be dark blue. So what fraction are going to be light blue? Well, it's going to be 1 16th. There is one light blue tile out of every 16 tiles in total. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that the answer is 1 15th. What we're saying is that for every light blue tile, there are going to be 15 dark blue tiles. So out of every 16 tiles altogether, one of them will be light blue. Pause the video and have a go at question two. Here's the answer. Out of every 16 tiles, 15 of them are going to be dark blue. Question three says that Tommy needs 1,600 tiles to cover a section of wall. How many light blue tiles does he need and how many dark blue tiles does he need? Well, we know from question one that 1 16th of the tiles have to be light blue. So all we need to do here is work out 1 16th of 1,600. That's how many tiles he's going to use in total and 1 16th of them are going to be light blue. Now 1 16th of 1,600 is simply 1,600 divided by 16. Remember, if you're trying to find a 16th of a quantity, what you want to do is divide that quantity into 16 equal parts. And 1,600 divided by 16 is 100. We can use the same kind of logic to work out how many dark blue tiles he needs. We know that 15 sixteenths of the tiles need to be dark blue. So we can work out 15 sixteenths of 1,600. Pause the video and have a go at that one for yourself. Hopefully you've worked out that 15 sixteenths of 1,600 is 1,500. Now, you could have taken a shortcut and got this answer straight away as soon as you'd worked out the number of light blue tiles. Because if you know that 100 of these tiles, 100 of these 1,600 tiles are going to be light blue, the remaining 1,500 tiles have to be dark blue. So well done if you spotted that shortcut. In question four, it says, using L to represent the number of light blue tiles and D for the number of dark blue tiles, write an equation relating L and D. To do this question, what we have to do is spot that no matter how many tiles we're dealing with, we should end up with 15 times as many dark tiles as light tiles. For example, if Tommy is just going to put 16 tiles up, he's going to have 15 dark tiles and just one light tile. There are 15 times as many dark tiles as light tiles in this diagram. But even if he's putting up more tiles, in this case, let's say 1,600, what you will find is that there are 15 times as many dark tiles as light tiles. 15 times 100 makes 1,500. And that's always going to be true because of this ratio. An easy way to spot that is to note that 1 times 15 makes 15. And remember, this ratio is the ratio of light to dark. And you can see that the dark number here is 15 times bigger than the light number. So what that's telling us is that the number of dark tiles is 15 times the number of light tiles. D, the number of dark tiles, equals 15 times the number of light tiles, which is L. 
d equals 15L. That is a correct equation relating the number of light and dark tiles together. That's not the only possible correct answer. What you could do is have thought about it in this sense. The number of light tiles is actually 1 15th of the number of dark tiles. What you're doing to find the number of light tiles is effectively dividing the number of dark tiles by 15. So we could say that L equals D over 15. That would also be a correct equation. And in fact, it is exactly what you would get if you made L the subject of this formula.